Hi, Paula Johnson here, and welcome to the Radical Self-Love Experiment. So happy that you're joining me on this journey. And today I am really talking about an experiment, an experiment that I'm inviting you to try to be curious about. And I always, my ears and my curiosity always kind of perk up when I start to uh, get similar information in a really short period of time. And so I wanted to share something with you and share something I wanted you to, to try in this experiment this week. So recently, my husband had brought this home, this bottle home for me. And it, uh, and so it was a, a gift for me. And he said, you know, I found this, I thought of you. And the, the little premise behind it, the, the explanation behind it that it gave is that when we put energy, uh, positive intention, love into water, that it changes the structure and the molecules of the water. And then you, you, can, you put it in there, it's got the symbol, you can see the symbol, and then it says abundance. And there's, you know, there's lots of different things, love and faith and uh, joy. And maybe you've seen people even be writing it on their water bottle. So this is, so the premise behind this was that uh, then you, um, you know, put your divine intentions in here and you drink the water. And there, because you are also made up, I think of 85% water, that it also changes and affects your body. So you're, you are ultimately changing the structure of water, drinking the water, and it's changing and being able to fill yourself with abundance or love or whatever positive intention that you may have put into the bottle. And maybe you've heard of this in Dr. Emoto's work as well, Messages in the Water. He was a scientist that uh, also proved around the changing the structures of the water. So he he did positive music, positive sayings, and took photographs and just the differences of the positive and sometimes the negative intention, intentions or the words used would change the different molecules of the water. So what he saw as the positive would be connected and make these beautiful designs and some of the negative would be all cracked and even discolored and so this is why I'm calling this as a, an experiment is because some people and scientists over over the years have discredited that kind of theory but I want you to kind of feel into it and see what you think about this as I as I continue to talk about this because even Deepak Chopra talks about not eating food that if someone has prepared or you yourself have prepared in anger because your energy and your intention and your anger has gone into that food preparation and then you are ingesting it into your body and also too is uh, blessing your food and be just giving homage to your food and and I know a lot of people do that from different uh, religions or spiritual beliefs um, and even people that you know energy workers out there raking your food or raking your harvest or your growth uh, and and allowing the the harvest to even grow what you're growing just to become abundant so I really thought this was a cool experiment for you to try at home. The piece of it is where I was saying that I hear when I hear things in really close kind of quarters is that I was reading um, a piece from Teal Swan and she talked about this that she had watched a documentary and it was called Water the Great Mystery and it was talking about structuring restructuring water and that when you put that intention and in positive it can actually change Oh, big bodies of water even just you know putting this into water it can change the structure of water and so it got me thinking again about this radical self-love and even as um, it goes on in the book to say around that you know a lot of people probably have tried this and I mean I, I, like the, and Louise Hay was my first uh, kind of teacher is that the mirror work when you look into the mirror and you talk about uh, you know love and appreciate yourself or you look for good good points or uh, attributions or characteristics. I know a lot of people struggle with looking into the mirror or even saying positive affirmations because it, it, it reverberated through your body as not being true. And yes, for some people, it was 
being persistent and continuing to do that, things did change. However, this is the experiment for radical self-love is that if you are a person that has a difficult time looking into the mirror and saying, I love you, I appreciate you, I appreciate me, is that I want you to try this then, is that I invite you to take a glass of water and it can be in one of your special glasses and just to even put it into the sunlight that's supposed to neutralize and uh, neutralize the water. And I want you to think about someone that is in your life or past and that you have so much love and affection for. And if you can't say that about yourself, I want you to say it about that person. Often this is the case is that we can say great things about our loved ones, but we can't say great things about ourselves. So I want you just to think about the person you have in mind, just giving giving them the love and intention of that love and affection and all the great things that you love about them, that you admire about them. And if you need to, even write it down first. To think of the person, what you hope for them, what their dreams are, what you love about them, what you appreciate about them, what you think are their gifts and their strengths. And I want you to write that down even. And then I want you to say it into the water, your, your beautiful glass of water there. And then I invite you to drink it. Because if we are changing the structure of the water, and then we are ingesting the water, this is an experiment, is that we are filling ourselves with all those positive intentions, all that love, all that positive energy. And as we know, are like the, there's two you know two powerful energies is love and fear and so no matter what you say out of love and drinking that back is restructuring your your body and just see how that goes i i'm i'm curious again so you can hit reply and send me an email let me know how this experiment went join me in the facebook group the link is below if you haven't joined be part of that community i'd love to hear your story i'd love to you to hear other people's story and just how it went for you and just let's see how this how this works i know i love dr moto's work and i've even you know i even trying this because i i always thought this was such such an incredible piece is planting two beans and one you say loving things to and when you give it the water you're giving that impositive intention you know grow you can grow you can do this and then other bean you say negative things to it and and watch that grow and i've done this experiment with groups before and what happens is the the cell the loved one grows longer, faster, um, sprouts up first. So it's pretty amazing what could be done in our power of our words. So if you have a hard time, or even if you don't, try this experiment. I invite you to try it. And, um, you know, prove me wrong even. Uh, but putting your intentions into your a positive intentions, your positive energy into the water and taking a drink and just really being open to this self love act and just seeing how that starts to shift for you over the days in this experiment and beyond and see what kind of changes really what do you have to lose except that you'll be drinking water with lots of loving energy in it so thank you for joining me for today in the radical self-love experiment and i'll see you again bye for now